Hello guys, my name is Sarvel Sek and today we are going to look at a case study of server-side request forgery SSRF on the Capital Trend website. Over here you can see there is a Capital Trend website which is exactly recreated as how it was when this vulnerability is found. And not only will we be looking at what is SSRF attack and what exactly happened and where is this vulnerability was found and even how to prevent from this vulnerability. A small disclaimer before I start this video as all of this testing is done on Contra web application security and it's quite a safe to test web application and you can even go and do this lab by yourself I'll provide the link down in the description and all of this is for education purposes only so let's get started so when you are in the capital 10 website you will actually see everything like this that there is a capital 10 website you can see your current balance available credit and you have like settings page and all of this so there's one feature provided by capital 10 which was that you can change the image on your card for example you have a credit card and you want to change its image you don't like this white color background okay so what you do is that you can change its image so you can just place in an image and you can upload it and you can see a image on a credit card okay so it's quite amazing feature by them right to customize and all everything but if if you have a, like a my hacker mindset or something and you like look at the URL every time what is happening so you'll see there is a uh, something over here a parameter named as URL and whose value is given by another URL okay so this is capital tense URL it has a URL parameter whose input value is another URL okay so if like don't you think if I change this URL something will happen okay leave that just let's do next let's see what is happening okay so firstly let's do rather than okay there's one thing is for sure that whichever image you uploaded was firstly uploaded through to their S3 account in somewhere maybe whatever file you uploaded was under the name of 6b7c1a1e and over there from S3 account that uploaded image came back to this website okay now what we'll do is that we'll change this URL to check is it really possible that is it really fetching value from any URL I provide the answer is yes okay you can see over here that I provided a different URL which is not Amazon S3 which was before it's not S3 bucket and still it fetched the cat image so this is quite a proof that I am able to make the other application, make the server send a HTTP request to any arbitrary application. This is actually an SSRF attack. So SSRF attack is where I am able to make a server send HTTP application request to any arbitrary domain. So over here, even though the server did not want to send a request to cat memes, but it still went to cat memes and got this cat image. Okay so yeah you might be thinking what's so wrong in this what's so great about this okay so i'll just tell you how dangerous it can be so firstly let's review the code why is this happening so it is actually happening because whatever value which i'm putting inside the url parameter okay so you can see there is this url parameter this the value of this url parameter comes here in this query string okay then this query string value is being fetched okay so whatever that query string whatever I provide in that parameter comes and it's downloaded and it's been loaded so you can even pause the video if you want to read through it okay yeah now let's go further so let's now see how can we increase the impact of this SSRF attack so I'll just tell you one thing uh, the example for example you have a password right so who knows your password except you no one knows it right you only know your password right so just like that there are like secret keys and secret tokens which are only accessible by the server itself that means anyone who, are, who goes to the server for example the admin uses the server and there are so many people who like keep on updating stuff on the website and all they can access the server and they can see the keys 
it's okay for them to see keys but for all the other people for the attacker for anyone else those keys are secret right and those keys are not allowed to be seen by them so what actually i do over here is that since there uh, there is uh, there is a possibility of ssrf attack what if in this url parameter i put in a link a place which is that website itself for example this ip is actually belonging to the website itself and when i normally go to this place which is a metadata which is the place of containing sensitive information if i normally go at this place i'll find like restricted you can't go over here because this data this place is only accessible to those people who have the access like who can who are the server but over here what is happening is that when i provide this link over here for example let me browse through a sensitive place let me just go through or even a sensitive more sensitive page okay what will be the most sensitive page all right one just a second guys yep let's go here let's go to this url you can see this url i'll read it out for you this url is this is the ip address of the capital 10 slash latest slash metadata iam security credentials is a very very sensitive file and this file is not accessible to any accessible to anyone else rather than people of the server itself but how am i able to access it via ssr ssrf attack is because when i provide this link over here what is happening is that this website itself is sending a request to this place that means when the application server is itself sending a request to himself then it's fine right because the server can access itself so that's why the server is able to access this sensitive place and when it did that i got you can see as you can see there is secret access key and all the secret tokens and everything all, all of the sensitive values of the admin credentials and all everything why i'm able to see this is because normally if you go to this website you won't see but since the web application is itself sending it a request to itself that's why it's fine right so this is how an ssrf works and for its prevention what you can do is that you can check this url that only s3 buckets of our plates come over here and you can click make sure you can have filtering so that this doesn't happen so yep that's it guys i hope you like the video like share subscribe and i'll see you next time